Hi, my name is Joe Jackson. I'm a journalist, author, interviewer and broadcaster. And for roughly a decade, I worked for the Irish newspaper, The Sunday Independent. One of my peers in the paper was columnist Owen Harris, although here I hasten to add, for the record, that I rarely visited the newspaper's offices, which was a decision I made at the outset simply to avoid becoming part of any clique. And I have never once spoken with Harris, who also happened to be the former husband of one of my editors, Anne Harris. Either way, now on May the 8th, 2021, I wake to find that Mr Harris, against whom I have not the slightest gripe, has reportedly lost his job in the Sunday Independent because he was allegedly operating a Twitter account under a false name and in which, again, allegedly, he was prone to fire off personalised attacks on people. All of this brought to mind the first and only time I came into conflict with Owen around 12 years before I joined the Sunday Independent. At the time, I was relatively new to interviewing, and one of my first major gigs, if only in the sense that it meant flying from Dublin to Hollywood to do an interview, was when I was sent to talk with Irish actor Gabriel Byrne. Gabriel and I connected instantly and got on greatly, and the proof of that fact can be found in podcasts I've made based on the interview, plus the book I published, Gabriel Byrne, The Joe Jackson Interviews Plus. And here... I will say that Gabriel himself and Ellen Barkin, his new girlfriend at the time, both loved the interview. So I was surprised when the magazine editor who had commissioned the interview received from Owen Harris a missive in which he not only attacked me, falsely labelling me a Trotskyite, I had to check that in the dictionary, and he declared that Gabriel Byrne phoned him after the interview and said he felt he was manipulated by me in the sense that I hadn't given him the opportunity to attack the IRA, specifically in relation to the Enniskillen bombings. Frankly, my gut reaction to the letter was that it was a load of crap, but the magazine intended to print the letter, so I phoned Gabriel to get his response in LA. By the way, if you want to read the article, it's on my website, joejacksoninterviewer.com, and the book is available, as they say, from wherever all good or otherwise, ebooks are sold. Enjoy the podcast. Hello, can I speak to Gabriel Byrne, please? Just a second. Thank you. Gabriel? Yes. It's Joe Jackson. Oh, Joe, how are you doing? Get you out of bed, did I? Um, yes, I, I was sorry, I didn't sleep very well last night. I uh, went to bed very late, so uh, no, it's just as I was just having it up anyway. Okay, sorry about that. Well, produ- productively busy, I hope. Pardon? Productively busy. Oh, it is, yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right, no, I've been trying to track you down for a couple of days. No, that's okay. So it's this thing about Owen. Well, I don't know what he said, uh, but he told me that he said something. What has he said? Yeah, he's written a, a rather stinkery of a letter. Just saying that uh, about the quote about pseudo-American movies. Yeah? He said yeah. that... The, the letter was that he, Gabriel Byrne, were printing this letter, right? So the only thing I might suggest is that if it says that, uh, I'll read out the first two lines, Gabriel Byrne was in touch with me last week to query a quote attributed no, to no, me. No, no, that's not true. Is it not? That's not true. I was not in contact with all that. You weren't? No. Well, you see, I didn't want to be setting his up in opposing co- uh, corners. You know what I mean? You know, what I don't want is I don't want to enter into public discussion with Owen Harris about anything. And, um, All right. you know, Owen has taken it on himself um, to say that I was in contact okay. with him. Just give, just give me the rest of the letter. Okay. It says, uh, to query a quote attributed to me by Jack- Joe Jackson, which did not ring true to him, and now it is in print. Byrne was right to smell a rat. I never said we should make pseudo-American movies, and the tape of the Buzzworld Talks confer- confirms this, right? Then he goes on for about a paragraph criticizing my use of the word pseudo. Okay. And at the end, he says, no wonder Byrne felt he was being manipulated. Well, you see, that's, that's, um, that's bullshit, you see. Yeah. That's total bullshit, because uh, what's happening there is that uh, Owen is using me to make points. And sure. Fuck that, you know. Yeah. Now, first of all, I haven't spoken to Owen Harris for about a year. Okay. Um, secondly, uh, I answered those questions off my own. 
Okay. I was not manipulated. And the thing is, I don't want to enter into a discussion with her. So what I'll do is I'll wait until um, I'll wait until the, the letter appears. And uh, maybe I should then write a letter to well, no, I mean, the, I mean, we can end it all. I mean, I can end it. I have to reply to the fact, because he then goes on to say the politics of the profiles stank. You know, that the whole stuff about Byrne in the North was carefully out of contact. Byrne hates the provost. He was asked to join the National Whinge about the Birmingham Six. Why not then go on and ask him his views on the provost and Ennis Gillen? And then it goes on to say that Hot Press wants a decent paper is another green rag in the Provo Proprietors Publishing Group. Pretty heavy stuff. Huh? Pretty heavy stuff. Yeah, but he's, he's accusing you and I of not of uh, pandering to all that by not going further into the... But they weren't the issues. The issue was the Birmingham Six, and it was topical. Yes, he was saying to you, why didn't you ask me about Ennis Gillen? Yeah. Um, you know, which would give, uh, give me a chance to condemn violence, but the, the discussion didn't go that way. And you can't cover all fucking ground. Sure. And, uh, well, I've been asking everybody about that for the past two months. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? And, um, No, the only part that kind of, it would show you up as a bit mean-spirited uh, to feel, you know, everyone everyone says it's an excellent interview, and if you then were saying in the background that you felt you were manip manipulated, I don't. I think that would kind of show you up. In no, it. you see, the point is, I mean, also, I deeply resent that word being used, manipulated, you know, because okay. um, it means that I don't have any opinions of my, of my own and that I put it in the corner where I have to say certain things. That's bullshit. Okay. Well, I tell you, the only way I can, I, I have to reply to the accusation where he says I'm a, a tr only a trot and a pravo thinks that borrowing from a foreign genre is pseudo. Why didn't Jack... He got this? Yeah, he says only a trot or a pravo thinks that borrowing from a, vo a foreign genre is pseudo. Why didn't Jackson use the trot phrase cultural imperialism while he was at it? It's a pretty hysterical letter, as you're beginning to say. Well, the only way I'll have to reply to that myself, the only thing I can say at the end to actually end it all is that uh, you, you said that the simple line that you haven't been talking to Ron Harris for a year. Um, you know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't as far as I know. The only thing is, I don't want a situation where you get the letter, you then ring me, then I say I haven't been in contact with Ron Harris for a year. Um, the, only, the only thing... Um, I mean, if you phrase it, I, I don't want it to be just a blanket, outright rejection of, of, of uh, a statement, even though it's fundamentally false, you know? Yeah, um, okay, no, I understand that. I mean, I think it has to be couched in such a way that it's, um, you know, that it's subtle, uh, but that it makes the point. Um, now, um, I, I know what's wrong with it, what's wrong with it is that it wasn't the defense of the workers' party. That's what was wrong. Right. Course. But, you know, I made a very simple statement, you know, like, that I cannot get beyond that sure. fact that there's an army of occupation. And he was, you know, as far as I know, deeply resented the, the use of the word army of occupation. I see. What the fuck are they, tourists? Right, 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 yeah. You know. Tur tourists that have overstayed their welcome. You know, and yeah. that was a statement I made without going into any depth. We didn't want to get into the fucking discussion about the 16. No. Well, what the... Um, if, if I... If, if it, I, I want to couch it in such a way so that it doesn't look as if it's a denial. All right. Is because, I, you know, it's a terrible thing what he's done. He's actually said that I spoke to him for the fact which I did. Right. Now, I should actually say I didn't speak to Owen Harris for a year. But uh, there's, there's, there's other considerations to be taken into account. Now, when do you have to have this it's, it's actually today. It was actually yesterday, you know, the whole letters page is being held up. So okay. now no, I just basically wanted to know, I mean, did you feel it necessary to go, uh, after our interview, to go to Owen Harris and say, because it does reflect badly on all of us, if you then felt, if you did, had actually felt I was being manipulated by Jackson to articulate thoughts that I don't believe. It reflects badly on you, in terms of you being in control, and on me in terms of uh, using you. So that's basically what we have to address in the reply. Confrontation between me and him 
far between you and him. Right. He maintains that hotline was to set up a, um, you know, a situation where I would be in conflict with him, which is what uh, he says the hot press wants to do, so that they'll um, create a big row about, uh, about the situation, which is like badly. I think that's what right. the tactic is he thinks. Okay, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Now, the only thing is, um, you know, it's most unfair, most unfair that he's fucking in this fucking Yeah, I know. I agree. Fucking hell, man. I, I haven't spoken to him. You know, now I'm going to try and have to find a fucking, you know, reasonably civilized fucking way of calling him a liar. Sure. Listen, if I leave this with you for a couple of minutes, how's that? And you just call back the office. Or, or uh, if Whatever way you want to... Well, you see, then I think you're unnecessarily uh, throwing throwing the focus on your own politics, which I really don't think is exactly what you said he wanted to do. You know what I mean? Then it's setting you up in one, in the middle of the ring or in one corner against him. You know, it might be just better to find out a way of of saying that you actually hadn't been in touch as gently as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, because then you'd have to lie. The only other way is to lie and say you were in touch. Well, I can't, I can't let him tell a lie and then I tell another fucking lie, no. you know? No, because that's um, why, if you then say that you were in touch but you just expressed nervousness and he exaggerated, that then two people are lying. Should I haven't been in contact. Right. You know, the, the, the reality is that certainly I did try to ring him um, last week in relation to something else, but his phone was out of order. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't speak to Owen. Okay. Responsible to, or responsible to, 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 to my own, uh, yes, to my own conscience. Yeah. Right. State. Sorry, conscience, and then what? Uh, and state. And state, yeah. Sorry, to tell the truth, I don't think that's necessary because most of the people in Ireland feel that whatever we covered was covered in depth. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, so so you then uh, you then negate. These opinions were my own, etc. These opinions were my own. Furthermore, although I consider Owen Harris to be um, uh, one of uh, one of my best friends. Yeah. Well, that's all. I have not been in contact with him for quite some time as I have been abroad. Okay, well maybe that, that does soften it by saying he is one of my best friends. You it, know, that's what I wanted to do. I don't, I don't, I don't, you see, it, it, it looks dreadful for what he's done. You see, Harris, I think, is of the school of thought that believes that the end justifies the means. Fair enough, yeah. In other yeah. words, that you can do anything as long as you fucking create the fucking mayhem 
um, you know, that would get people to react. But the point about it is, he's here saying that I was in fucking well in contact with him. I wasn't in contact with him. Um, you know, I was. I, I, I spoke to Anne Harris uh, about three days ago, um, and I asked her what what she thought of it and yeah. what Owen thought. And she said, um, she, she said, oh, there's a letter on its way to you, and it's a bit humor, so, you know, you can... You know. I said, oh, what did he object to? And she told me what, that she objected to that. And I said, no, well, I wasn't. You wasn't with it. Right. So, uh, have you got that written down? I have, yeah. Yeah. Well, just read it down to me again. Right? Yeah, yeah, much, much, much as I respect the integrity of Owen Harris, I, I must also uh, be, or be or, or tighten it up later, bear responsibility to my own conscience, and state that that in no way was I manipulated by Joe Jackson to give any answers in relation to any subject covered in the interview. Furthermore, although I consider Owen Harris to be one of my best friends, I have not been in contact with him for quite some time. Yeah, um, we, uh, no, we have, uh, we have not, uh, we have not been in contact, we haven't, we haven't spoken. Yeah, and then maybe then, and certainly not in relation to this interview. Certainly not in relation to this interview. Yeah. Okay, I have to say that, fuck it, you know. Of course you do. I, 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 I have to say that, man, because that is... Uh, okay, okay. So fuck it, you know. Yeah. Um, I think that's about the... About the that covers the ground, right. but it's, 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 you know, it's softened a bit by... The friend. By, 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 by that, you know. Yeah. I, I really, I, I don't want to fuck it. Okay, well, it's a, it's a sh it's a shame this yeah no it's a shame this had to uh, it had to come to this you know because actually you were saying after the interview that it helped you articulate things that you mightn't otherwise have confronted and that my pushing you actually brought out in you what you were thinking anyway so that's the opposite well, of what all of it that was certainly wasn't in relation to the political uh, the, the political I mean that that was certainly um, um, something that I that I believe. No, not for years, but um, very lately. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't know what your reply is going to be, but I would, um, um, you know, I just don't want the impression given in any fucking way that I was man manipulated to give any answers at all for whatever reason, because um, the questions provoked a response as questions do, and, and, and that's as far as it went. Unless I had those things in my head, I couldn't have fucking given those answers. I know, right. So, yeah. I, I, I would rather you didn't say that um, that that you provoked the answers in me because that gives him another thing to say. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Fair enough. You asked, and this is his point. This is what I I, I, I learned taught and heard. His point is that you manipulate you manipulated me through asking me a particular series of questions and leaving out others. Yeah. That's his point. So if you put in that stuff that you said about the questions I asked and provoked this. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a moot point, the whole thing, because Jesus, I mean, how many questions are there in the world? How many come on asking an hour? Of you know, course. yeah. Of yeah. And it doesn't. You, you can only cover so much ground. Well, know. it also doesn't make it political if you exclude some and, and include others. That's his reading, that it does. You know what I mean? Yeah. That there are political well, motives. You know, this is, this is, okay. This is an old, an old letter anyway, so, um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I can put that in at the end of the. Uh, the article, and, and hopefully it will be left there because I don't think any of us want to follow it any further now. You know, no, so I don't think there's I'm any... Really, I'm really desperately disappointed that, 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 that he's fucking said that he's told a lie, basically. He's used me as a friend to fucking man uh, for the time, simply because politically I've moved away from his fucking man. That's what's happened. Sure. Because, um, you know, the work is partly stand on it is, of course, the most interesting enemy of the application for a start. And that, um, you know, he's just done this thing, exposed the probe of the RTA and all that. Yeah, yeah. And he maintains that that sentence would be um, a provisional uh, re reaction to the situation in the world. Now, his thing is that you should have asked me about it. And it's a killer where I would have said, fuck the provost, they're a crowd of fucking murderers and I condemn by Yeah. And that's what he wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that didn't come out. So in other words, the article, from his point of view, from his point of view, was meaningless. Because those points weren't made. But the article was fuck well about him. Right. Oh, well, no, he said the whole policies of the profile stank. So that's what he means. It didn't go into the area he wanted it to go into. Well, of course. But, but I that's, mean, you know, well, I mean, politics wasn't the fucking main issue. You know? No, no, no.
Well, in the wider sphere, they were. And that's what I liked about it, the politics of film, the politics of culture and art and all that stuff. Yeah, but that's yeah, not what... Even they change my politics, that you that is, that's, that's, what is, that's what is definition of my politics. But that's only because, you know... Okay. Well, i better leave it there. Okay. okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't concern yourself too much about this. I'd say he, you and he'll probably just laugh about it, but uh, we won't. Oh, we'll yeah. Try not to let it go much for us, any further. No, there's no point. I mean, right. That's that. Yeah. I no. Mean, I think my statement uh, wipes it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay Gary. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Bye bye. Hi, Joe Jackson here again. I thank you for listening to this edition of the Joe Jackson Interviews podcast. And don't forget, you can get the ebook Gabriel Byrne, the Joe Jackson Interviews Plus wherever ebooks are sold.